Hello everybody, this is the BG and... Delta Rill. Today we're going to talk about making Lucanico sausage. So in my quest for sausage supremacy over the years, I have attracted many friends unto the process of making sausage. And in one of those is my Greek coworker from many years ago. And he said, could we make a Greek sausage? I said, I'd love to. So we're going to highlight some of the big flavors of Southern Greece in particular and make Lucanico. So what I really liked about this sausage was the fact that it was smoked and it had vinegar in it. Those two things alone create such a pop when you have it that it just reminded me how unique different sausages could be around the world. So when you take that smoke flavor and the vinegar and you combine it with the citrus flavors, that forms a really good combination. One that is a sweet and it also has a bite to it. And that makes all the difference. BG said is truly unique because most sausages, at least that we currently make, don't have that variation in flavor. I forgot to add, the other thing that's unique about this is that there's two kinds of meats. This sausage can be all pork or all lamb or a mixture. And so I'm using it as a mixture. To start, my first priority was something with a citrus flavor. I found a recipe and it had oranges in it, mostly because in Greece, like you'll see, especially in Southern Greece, you'll see lemon, orange trees almost everywhere. Combine those with some of the herbs that you'll get like the mountain oregano. And that's kind of like the basis of the Greek sausage. Well, we knew we had it because the first time that we were happy with it, you cooked some for your mom. She was like, this is perfect. She loved it. She loved it. And I was like, yes, we're there. That's the one. So this video serves as the capstone to the sausage making sequence that we put together. I am not going to cover in great detail the grinding piece or the mixing piece because we have those in the Polish video and the Italian video. Please refer to those. And so this one really just focuses on the recipe and then what makes it different. Luconico, the way I make it, uh, could be in coils like the Polar sausage, but I like it to be in links and then also it's smoked. And so we're going to cover those in more detail for this video. This is a recipe that has a combination of pork and lamb in it. The uh, grind size is a smaller, so it's going to be using a 1 8 inch grind. And then the lamb that I am using already is pre-ground, so I don't need to do anything about that. But if you had access to lamb shoulder that you wanted to grind along with the pork, that would be excellent to have too. So for this recipe, in the pan I'm going to put the 6 pounds of ground pork shoulder with the 4 pounds of ground lamb. So I'm going to do a little bit of pre-mixing between the ground lamb and the ground pork just to get that somewhat brought together. And then for the mixture, I'm putting one cup of red wine vinegar, four tablespoons of kosher salt, and then four tablespoons of the coarse ground pepper, restaurant style, two tablespoons of ground coriander, two tablespoons of dried oregano. If you can get Greek, that's even better. One tablespoon of dried thyme. Again, if you can get a Greek version of that, that's even better. A half teaspoon of clove. It's just a touch of it. And then two teaspoons of orange oil. If you don't have access to orange oil, you can also use three tablespoons of orange zest. And then since you're zesting all those oranges, you can make some orange juice along the way. The additional piece that you need is the leeks. And so you're going to have uh, between three and four whole leeks that you actually just cut down the center, rinse those out really well like we showed in the chicken stock video. And then I roast those with some olive oil on a baking sheet. After they get cooked through in a little bit, browned on the roasting, you'll actually put those through the same grinder. You know, I put it through the eighth inch grinding plate and you'll actually grind the leeks. The recipes that we'll talk about in the future and other years, anytime that I use a fresh vegetable item or a fruit item, I actually will grind it through or put it through the grinder and so that it just makes it a lot easier instead of just chopping it up. You can use the grinder itself as the chopping mechanism. After you get all of the red wine vinegar mixed with those uh, dry ingredients and then the leeks, Mix those together really well, put them in with the meat pan, mix that together really well, and then you're gonna get to the stage where you now have a bulk version of the Luconico. So if you wanted to make patties out of it, you could stop right here and then just grill up a patty or fry it in a pan, but now we're gonna go on to the casing piece of it. I apologize for the quality of the next part of the processing because we couldn't find the original good top-down and side shot of doing the linking. This is a B-reel test shot of of showing the linking but it's still an excellent example of how to do this so what makes this different is that we start out the same way that you do for a polish sausage you make sure that you have a bit of friction on the casing against the end of the tube so that you're making sure you fill the the casing completely but not overstuffing it 
And this is something you'll see a lot easier when you're linking versus doing the coils because if this sausage is overstuffed when you try to link it, it just won't actually link itself. It's going to be so uh, tight under pressure that you won't even be able to pinch it and actually twist off a link for it. So making use of those marks, what I'll do is after I get a good length of the coil uh, cased out, I'll just push it to the end of the, the first mark and then skip one six inch section, go to the second one, pinch down with both my fingers, and then actually twist the link several times. I'll move that down a little bit more and then skip another link and then pinch down on the every other six inch mark, twist it off several times, and that's it. It's actually quite simple. You're not actually twisting every link. That's the trick. You're actually twisting every other link. And then after that, I just raise it up a little bit and I'll slide my knife underneath it to actually cut the links apart. And that is it. So after all the links are made, I'll put them in a large aluminum pan like I'm showing here. And then the next piece is actually something I figured out by accident. The first year I made Luconico, I went straight into the smoker after making the sausages. And that's great, it works, it works fine. But the second year that I made it, I did not have time to smoke it after making the sausage, and so I had to leave it in the fridge overnight. Well, as you can see, the red wine vinegar will actually start drawing out of it, but the, the other thing that happens is the vinegar will start pickling the meat, like almost like sour broughton, and it actually makes it taste a little bit different, and I thought it actually tasted better, so I do that every year now. I will actually make the sausage the first day and then let it sit in the fridge overnight. So after the sausage is smoked overnight, and we can move on to the smoking phase of it, for this, the wood that I'm using is pecan wood, and I had actually never used it before actually making uh, Luconico. It's, it's unique to the Greek flavor of this when I was looking up different versions of the recipe. Um, before this, I'd use, you know, apple cherry, pecan, or I'm sorry, apple cherry, peach, hickory, mesquite, those kind of things, but never pecan wood. And it itself is a very unique flavor. But the only thing I'm doing here is just loading up, you know, however the, the racks are in your smoker, uh, you know, making sure that you have enough space between each of the sausages, and, and that's it. Since the sausages are small, you know, compared to something like a pork shoulder, uh, these actually don't smoke that long. I'm only smoking this for about 50 minutes, and that's it. It's just one round of smoke, and it's over. After the sausages come out of the smoker, you need to get them cooled down as quickly as possible. So if it's extremely cold outside, you know, when you're doing this, you can just let the smoker door open for a little while so that the ambient air can cool down the sausages quicker. But after that happens, I'm just going to put them off in a pan and then get them in the refrigerator to get down to refrigerator temperature. You know, I want these to be below 40 degrees before I start packing them. One thing to add is that, you know, since these are smoked, they're partially cooked. They're not fully cooked. So when you are actually grilling these or pan frying them or whatnot, uh, you don't need to cook them as long as you would if there was a completely raw sausage. So when you make this recipe at home, be careful when you're cooking them. These are easier to dry out just because they already are partially cooked at this point. The last step is the packaging piece of this. I have a 10 inch mark on the table for making the bags. You know, like we showed in the Italian video, a 10 inch bag that's from an eight inch wide roll will easily fit a one pound chunk of meat, so either as a bulk form or as four links. But that's it, you know, I'm gonna make 10 inch bag, seal one side, make sure that you flip over the other, the, uh, the edge of the other side so that you don't get it dirty, slide the sausages in, seal them off, and that is it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, this is the BG, keeping it square, experience some different sausages around the world, this Greek sausage is delightful. Thanks for joining us today. Sausage isn't all we do, and in our next two videos, we'll take you into our meat closet, literally, and show you how we make bacon and ham. Subscribe to us to help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers so we can broadcast live on YouTube from our kitchen. And be sure to check out our website. See you next time on... Our Final Freezer! Uh-oh, we got some leakage. Yasu! <laughs> and so, what do I want to 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 want
That's good. That's good. I would say that's good.